Hey guys, it's Bro you Wax. So if you guys haven't heard, probably you have because this was the biggest thing that could ever happen to Overwatch. A brand new hero finally dropped for the game, and it's Hero 28, and of course it's Hammond the Hamster, not Hamond. I'm tired of seeing comments like that. Yes, I know it's Hammond, but it is Hammond the Hamster slash Wrecking Ball. So pretty much it's like a combination of two heroes into one. Hammond controls the Wrecking Ball, and the Wrecking Ball does all the dirty work. And when this was first announced, I'm gonna be straight up and honest with y'all. I was truly hyped. I was so excited because because we haven't received an animal hero since Winston, and Winston was with the base game. So this was something that, you know, maybe wasn't the most needed thing in Overwatch, but it was something that was still appreciative because, well, again, we keep seeing humans, we even seen Onyx, but we haven't seen a cute little animal. And Hamon, or, or Hammond, sorry, I'm still used to saying Hamon. Hammond is just one of those heroes that is, on the surface is cute, adorable. It might seem a little bit gimmicky also. So. This video I will be talking about is Hammond Trash. Is he a terrible hero on the surface, just as uh, as a character, but also how is he in game? Because I feel like a lot of people are hating on Hammond and they haven't even played him. Like a lot of my viewers are console players, and I totally get. Like if you don't like Hammond, I I understand, but y'all haven't even played him yet. And like, come on, g give the little guy a chance. But today we will be talking about different aspects about him and if they're trash or god tier. So first, let's actually talk about the character, not the gameplay, not. Not his toolkit, not his ultimate, none of that. Let's just talk about Hammond and Wrecking Ball himself. Now, again, this is completely subjective. The amount of cuteness or the amount of stupidness can really be determined on what a human thinks about something. I mean, personally, I love the cute adorableness of just Overwatch. That's why I love Mei so much. If you guys don't know that, I absolutely love Mei. One, because, well, I'm actually decent with her. And two, she's just nice, sweet, adorable, loving, and I love that in a character. Now, some of y'all might call her Satan. I totally understand. We're not here to talk about May. But when Hammond first got announced and he poked his cute little adorable ears and head out of his little wrecking ball, I was honestly astounded. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, this is the next hero. And I think at this point, this is where the fork in the road became of Hammond. Like, okay, either you really, 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 really like him, or you really think he's stupid, you really don't like him, you think he's the dumbest character of all time in Overwatch, and you kind of set your ground on that you don't believe anything else no one can persuade you and I'm not trying to persuade you of this video but again that's just kind of what I saw that's the facts that I can state as terms of Hammond now even though I just said I'm not trying to persuade you because again I, I have to realize you guys have your opinions and I want to respect it but I guess I want to try to further tell the story of Hammond and just why this is such a great hero so if you guys don't know Hammond was first speculated to be a space monkey alongside Winston because both Hammond and Winston escaped from Horizon Lunar calling together. Well, we all know that Hammond is actually a hamster, but they still both escaped, and Winston obviously landed in Horizon Lunar Colony, Hammond landed in Australia in Junkertown in the made-up city, and he was able to turn his freaking space pod into a damage-dealing mech, and he was able to participate in all these tournaments in the Junkertown, be able just to smash everybody while being a tiny little hamster! He's- he destroys literally humans' mech, and he's- <laughs> He's not even two feet tall! Well, I don't know if he is two feet tall. He's a very tiny little hamster, and he's just wrecking everyone. He could probably destroy a nuke going over Tweak's house. I gotta stop making that joke. But I'm, you can see I'm getting so hyped, but that's just because, again, I know the backstory, and I just... It's a unique idea, it's a unique concept, but that unique concept can be overshadowed by the actual gameplay because at the end of the day, we're gonna be playing this hero. And let me tell you, compared from the last hero drop, which was Brigida, this hero is very complex. Now on the surface, it might seem very simple and in all honesty, I think that's why a lot of people roasted my first showing of Hammond was because, oh, it's so simple, where did you grab the dog? I'm first playing Hammond, all right, cut me some slack. But in all honesty, to do the bare minimum, is very simple. All you gotta do is just get a little bit of leverage, ground pound, shoot, and use your mind. But once you actually master the grappling, once you actually try to combo a lot of the shield aspect and just the damage dealing aspect, you can be very, very effective. So really, I, I feel like Hammond compared to Brigida and Orisa and, and even Mora has a high skill gap and just has a lot of opportunity for good players to really take time and master him. Because again, the grappling really depends on the environment that you're in. 
important. There's so many environments that Hammond can find himself in. So my biggest thing that I really appreciate with Hammond, other than the, the fact that I love his character, is the fact that I wasn't great with him at first. It wasn't as simple as just, all right, bash, swing, swing. Here's an armor pack. Oh, here's some Gamer Girl P. Let me throw a quick damage dealing bot. No, it wasn't like that. Yeah, I had a fire. Yeah, I had a shield. But I also was not great with the grappling. And that's where the secret is going to come into play with Hammond because that's his main thing. He's a freaking wrecking ball and his ability of wrecking is very hard to master. So really just to wrap this video up, as terms of a character, I feel like this is the one thing that most people really don't like because either A, they don't like the fact that a cute adorable hamster controlling a damage dealing mech is in the game of Overwatch, or B, what I saw a lot of comments on was actually it was quote unquote copying Ruckus or Rockus, how you pronounce his name from Paladins. Again, I never played Paladins, so I don't really know the character, but I looked it up. I guess it's some gremlin controlling a similar like mech or robot thing. Either way, whether Haman truly is inspired from Rockus, it's very hard to create an idea that isn't going to be compared to Paladins. It's like Fortnite and PUBG. Both are Battle Royale games. Same thing here. Paladins and Overwatch are both character-based FPS games. They're going to be compared to one another. But the last thing I'll talk about very quickly, the gameplay, I'll just say this. People that were actually playing Hammond in the Overwatch PTR seemed to love him. They loved his hero kit. They loved everything he brought to the table. And the people that were hating on Hammond, I saw in YouTube comments. So people playing Hammond, they loved. The people watching Hammond, they absolutely did not like. But that's where the splitting off really came to play, was actually watching him. So really, this is a hero that you just need to play with, you just need to practice with, and just really get to know. He has a lot to offer, and overall, he's here to stay. So again, just appreciate what Blizzard brings to the table. You can love it or hate it, but at least just appreciate it. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.